Well, kidney disease is where the kidneys stop functioning normally. So in normal disease, the kidneys get rid of waste products that we no longer need. They produce urine to help us control our fluid balance. They also control blood pressure and also produce certain hormones, things like erythropoietin that stops us becoming anemic and keep our bones healthy using vitamin D. So in kidney disease, those things start to go wrong and in particular, we start to retain waste products. Well, the early signs of kidney disease often are a bit like the early symptoms of kidney disease. They really are very difficult to find. But many people who develop kidney failure develop high blood pressure and swelling as one of the early signs. And they may find that their urine becomes a little frothy, a little bit like the head of a beer. And in some people they become quite tired early on. But it's really quite variable and very non-specific. Kidney disease is one of those things that is often difficult to put a finger on until quite late. Well, the treatment of kidney disease is mainly about trying to prevent the progression of kidney failure. So the main thing about kidney treatment is to keep the blood pressure completely normal. And by treating blood pressure really aggressively can prevent kidneys deteriorating to the point where there is total kidney failure. Now if we can find out why there's kidney damage in the first place, then we can put specific treatment in to prevent decline. So let's say you have diabetes causing kidney damage, making sure the diabetes is perfectly controlled will be really helpful. But if there's an underlying cause for the kidney damage, say like an allergic response within the kidneys, then your kidney specialist will offer you specific treatment to prevent that disease deteriorating. And that may require things like steroids or other drugs that can turn off immune responses within the kidney. Well, the prognosis for kidney disease can be quite variable and it's often related to the underlying problem within the kidneys. So the most common cause of kidney damage is related to high blood pressure or from diabetes and control of blood pressure into the normal range and keeping the blood sugars as normal as possible will often mean that the kidney damage that these diseases cause can be minimised and prognosis can be quite good. Now for other causes of kidney damage, such as from cysts in the kidneys, keeping the blood pressure is really important to keep prognosis good. But there are other specific treatments that can slow cyst growth that can also be instituted to give patients with cystic kidney disease a good prognosis. Where there's an immune problem, again good control of the underlying condition can keep kidney function functioning for many years. But if there is a decline in kidney function, many patients need to be faced with the decisions of needing to have a kidney transplant or to consider going on to dialysis. And dialysis can come in the form of a home treatment like peritoneal dialysis or in a hospital base where hemodialysis is offered. <music>